Okay, it looks like the Cairo Pact is being formed. Interesting. Okay, I'm not sure if Iran will join the faction, but they probably will still declare war on the Ottomans. And it looks like the Ottomans are uh, sending volunteers to East Turkestan. They often do do that. And East Turkestan is still fighting against the Kumul Khanate. Uh, the Xinjiang clique is, is long gone. Okay. It looks like Ukraine has become syndicalist, or, uh... Yeah, the Socialist Republic of Ukraine is led by the totalists of Nikita Khrushchev. Interesting. And uh, Estonia and Latvia are independent. I think I covered that previously, though. I think I already mentioned that. Interesting. It looks as if the two Sicilies has annexed Rome. Okay. Searing steel mills. To bolster our industrial expansion, we will need to expand the steel mills to reduce our dependence on German steel. Melunia add one building slot and civilian factory, and production of 26 steel in Melunia. Okay, so Burma has become syndicalist and is now an ally of the Bharatiya Commune. Okay. I'm going to build more infantry equipment. I'll build more factories later. Okay. I'm going to nationalize Union... Okay. I'm going to... I'm going to nationalize Union Minere de Hot Katanga. I'll do that. Now, when can I decide what faction to join? Not yet, but hopefully soon. trade aluminum with the West Indies Federation. I'm going to trade tungsten with... Um, I'll trade with... Um, okay, interesting. I'll trade tungsten with Norway. And I'll trade chromium with South Africa. Okay, the Fourth Balkan War has begun. Interesting. I'm going to go down this and... Okay. I'll explain later. Okay. VNH Landag in Antwerpen. The Dutch far-right party VNH is requesting the right to hold a rally in Antwerpen. Apparently their permit to hold a rally was revoked in the Netherlands itself and attempts 
to choose a different location or time also failed, with the help of their hostile government. Now they are asking us if they may hold the land dog in Antwerp outside the authority of the Dutch government, so they so that they can in fact hold their meeting. Flanders Wallonia welcomes you. Okay, wait. I have two options. Flanders Wallonia welcomes you. Surely their permit was revoked for a reason. Um, I'll go with the latter. I don't want to make the Netherlands angry. And the Netherlands is under a social liberal government, and uh, Pieter Oud is um, the prime minister. Let me see if I can improve relations with Canada. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. No, I, I already am improving relations. Okay, that's good. Okay, apparently Germany Stasia enacts the Indonesian Union. So the Indo uh, the Indonesian Revolution was a failure. Okay, war bonds. With tensions rising in Europe, the government has created a war bonds program to gather the required cash and resources for a rapid mobilization. Gains national spirit war bonds, which grants consumer goods factories minus 3%. Okay. I'm basically going to finish the industrial tree, uh, the industrial part of the tree. I'll finish that. Then I'll finish the conservative um, part of the political tree. Then after that, I'm going to go for the military tree. And then the Navy and Air Force. Though I might do independent forces um, at a later date. I, I might just do the starting focus at a later date. But for now, I'm going to mostly focus on like the industrial stuff. This also includes... Um, this focus that adds more manpower. I might do that one after this one. Or I might do this one. FN Herstal Expansion. Then do Last Stand Act. Then eventually I get rebuild the Lueven Library. It's pretty good.
Okay, I can't do this last stand act until I'm in a defensive war, so I'll save that for later. So I'll do FN Herstal expansion. And I can choose Minerva or Brussels trucks. I think I'll go with Brussels trucks. Or I could go with Minerva. I'll think about it. Okay. All right, let me send... All right, I got this. Let me just reorganize my armies. Um... Okay, Hawaii has joined the Reich's Pact. Interesting. Now, the Ottoman Axis War has begun, but what's going on in Japan? Okay, Iran did declare war on the Ottoman Empire, and now Japan is at war at Transamur, which wants to become independent. They're probably going to lose to Japan, though. Okay, let me research this. Okay, Haiti and the Dominican Republic are at war. That's interesting. And they're both under authoritarian democratic governments. Mexico is a part of the Third International. Um, I forgot to mention that.
Okay. Go for okay. Apparently, I can do this, but I'll do it later. Um, FN Herstal expansion to provide in the rising needs of our military. We need to invest in the small arms manufacturer of FN, and that'll give me a, a two building slots and military factories in Wallonia. Now, who should I choose, Brussels or Minerva? I think I'll go with Brussel. I think I need to beef up on Army Five. Uh-oh. Germany demands Belgian submission. The ambassador from the German Empire has presented our government with an ultimatum. Either we accept German demands and become once again a part of their empire as a satellite, or we stand and fight to defend Belgium once again. Hardened by the bitter fighting against troops of the old Flanders Walloon regime, our stoic populace is ready for another engagement to defend their homeland. We have no choice but to give in, or Belgium will never surrender to those or Belgium will never surrender to those German devils. I'll go with the latter. Okay, they have a... They can go to war with me if they want. And apparently, Germany is under a paternal autocratic government. Known as the Kaiser Troia. Who's the Prime Minister? Oh, it's, um... Kurt von Schleicher. Interesting. Is Germany going to declare war on me, though? Let's see if I can build some forts. I don't know if it's going to do much. Leopold III, Field Marshal. Although it really should be Leopold, Duke of Brabant. Um, but I think I've already mentioned that. Honestly, it would be pretty cool if they had um, Leopold III's younger brother as a um, field, uh, field Marshal as well. He was, I believe, Charles, Duke of Flanders. Um, who was also in the Belgian military, but he's not here for some reason. I don't know. Oh, shoot. Okay. So I just gotta, I guess, defend myself for a little bit. Maybe I'll take Aix la Chapelle. Um, although it, it's te in German it's called Aachen. But, um, okay, you know, I'll just defend myself. I feel like at this point there's no way I can win against Germany and all its allies. Maybe I should have capitulated, I don't know. Okay, let me see how this works.
I'll just have to accept at this point. I kind of wanted to join the Entente, but that's okay. I'll just, I'll just join the Reich's Pact. You know, I don't know. Canada hasn't offered me to join their faction, the Entente. I don't know why. Okay. We have no choice but to give in. So now I'm a member of the Reich's Pact again. Honestly, I think this is kind of for the best, but whatever. Crap, why did I become Fraternal Autocratic? Hmm. Does this mean I can't go down the... Oh, I can still... I guess I can still go down the conservative tree. Yeah, I, I guess I'm Fraternal Autocratic but I'm still under the conservative government. I'm only paternal autocratic because, like, the Germans are occupying uh, Belgium again. As an occupied puppet, basically. Well, at least this will give me some help in uh, the war against, you know, uh, the Commune of France. Let me just let me move this one soldier. Let me move him here. I need to beef up Army 5. Apparently, it looks like Switzerland has become national populist. Interesting. I'll appoint a new chief of army. I'll go with Charles Baston, Static Defense Doctrine. I'll definitely need that, because I'm, I'm probably going to be having a more defensive than offensive army. So the Reich's Pact looks pretty good. Um, even if they did lose Ukraine, but whatever. And I'll still improve relations with the Netherlands. Okay, Albania joined the Donau Adriabund. And Avni Rustemi is the president.
shoot, who's... Iron Guard Romania is justifying against us? Who are they justifying against? Oh, Bulgaria. No, they're at war with Bulgaria. It's weird. But Germany's sending volunteers to Iron Guard Romania, so I don't know what that's about. Doesn't look like they're justifying against us. I don't know what that's about. Now the Italian Republic has joined the Dano Adria Bund. And Luigi Enwadi is the um, president. And he's a member of the PLI, Partido Liberale Italiano. Okay, so apparently Guatemala is the. So what's going on there? So there's the Vanguard, so there's the People's Vanguard and the Revolutionary Front. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to improve work, I'm going to improve working conditions. The weekend should be holy and our workers shouldn't be oppressed. By passing this act to introduce the 40-hour work week, we can take some mind out of the syndicalist sales and further consolidate our power. Gains national spirit, flexible labor legislation, which grants stability, plus 5.00%. Factory output, plus 8.00%. Then after that is expand the state companies. And then I can choose between strive towards federation or strive towards confederation. And I think I'll go with the federation. Yeah, I'm basically going to finish the political tree because I might, I don't know if I'll finish the game. Um, I might end early, I'm not sure, but I at least want to get this political tree done. Um, so expand the state companies. The state companies like the NMBS and the Postal Service are in dire need of reinvention. Expanding these organizations creates jobs and will provide better services to the population. And it'll give me one building slot and civilian factory in Wallonia and again in Flanders. Um, but I'll do that after I'm done with this focus.
Yeah, I think this focus reinforced Belgicism, it definitely does give a lot more um, benefits as opposed to create the economic regions. So I'll, I'll do that. The, the national populists are coming to power in Lithuania. I'm gonna go with um I'll go with La Bouge I'll go with La Bouguette. Okay, interesting. I'll go with La Boug I'll go with La Bougoise as my Okay, how do you okay. La Boug La Bougoise. I'll go with La Bougoise as my... I'll go with La Bougoise as my light tank manufacturer. Hope I pronounced that right. Okay.
Alright, I already went over that. I'll do that. Okay, apparently Middle Africa took over all of Mozambique from Portugal. But at least Portugal still got to keep Angola. Okay, the Nationalists have won in South Africa. Interesting. And it looks like the Ottomans are winning in the Middle East. That's interesting. The Russian Empire is justifying against the Reich's pact. Interesting. Looks like they're gonna conquer the Don Kuban Union. Uh, I mean Russia. Looks like Russia is gonna conquer the Don Kuban Union soon. So that's interesting. See if I can trade tungsten with hmm. I'll trade with Sweden. They're also in the Reich's Pact. And okay, Uruguay has won the World Cup. I'm gonna trade chromium with not can't I'll go with Germany Stasia. Or Cuba? I guess I'll trade with Cuba. Okay, so now I'm gonna go with my is aluminum? I'm gonna trade aluminum with Germany. They're my ally in the Reichs Pact, so it's only natural that I trade with them.
I'm gonna have Cockrell as my industrial company. Alright, let me read these two focuses before I go down them. Strive towards federation. Only by federating our country can we stop the increasing separatism between Walloons and Flemish. And this will give me plus 10.00 gain based stability. Then there's reinforced Belgium. Belgicism is more important than being a Walloon or a Flemish citizen. We are all equal and are we are all equal and are stronger if we work together. And this will replace linguistic debacle with Belgicism, effective change, daily political power gain, minus 0 0.15, stability plus 5.00%, war support and match planning plus 10. Point sorry, war support plus 10.00%, planning speed plus 20.0%, match planning plus 10.0%. Interesting. And then there's Strive towards confederation. The Flemish and Walloons will never be able to fully work together. Therefore, it's best to decentralize. Therefore, it's best to decentralize the government and allow self-governance for the different regions. Effect: gain-based stability plus 10.00%. Then there's create the economic regions. By creating the economic region, separating the Flemish region, the Walloon, we, the Walloon, nah, the Walloon region, and the Brussels capital region, we can further focus ourselves on the need of the individual instead of the collective. Gains national spirit economic regions, which grants. Gains national spirit resource. Gains national spirit economic regions, which grants resource gain efficiency plus 15.00%. Interesting, but I'm going to go down the federation uh, focuses. Looks like the Dominican Republic declared war in Haiti. Didn't that already happen, though? Pedro Henriquez Urena is the president of the Dominican Republic. I don't... I haven't really seen this guy much. I like his hat, though. the game. I'm going to go with Strive Towards Federation. Okay, apparently the Princely Federation is ripping apart. Okay, apparently Chile annexed Paraguay, the Blue Lotus. The new comic, the newest comic of Georges 
The newest comic of Georges Remy, or Hergé, takes place in the Qing Empire, where the popular Tintin is sent to dismantle drug trafficking. It is known that Hergé has helped, was helped in his work by a young student from the legation city of Shanghai named Zhang Chongren, who came to Belgium to study fine arts. The expertise of Zhang led to a striking and realistic representation of Chinese society and contributed greatly to the enormous success of the book in Europe and China. The book criticizes the weakness and the corruption of the Qing government, as well as the Japanese presence in Manchuria, and is as such banned in both of these countries. So exciting. Political Power Plus 20. Well, it's nice to see um, one of the most famous Belgian creations, Tintin, get a mention here. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so apparently... Interesting. Okay, so the Argentine Commune is... Um, has become totalist under Manuel Baldomero Ugarte. And the Socialist Republic of Paraguay is also totalist. But they're a puppet of Chile, which doesn't make a lot of sense. It'd make more sense for them to be a puppet of Argentina. I'll take a picture of this and read it later. On. Maybe I can. You know, I'll, I'll fix that later if 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 I if I even do fix it. But whatever. I'll use console commands to fix that later. Whatever. All I'm saying is that it would make more sense for um, Paraguay to be a puppet of Argentina, and the totalist leader of Paraguay is Rafael Franco. Though the interesting thing is that in real life. Rafael Franco was president of Paraguay from 1936 to, I believe, 1937. And he was really, in real life, he was like a social democrat. But in this world, I guess he's much more radical. But whatever. And Central America has been founded. They don't have a president yet, though. A lot of countries are supporting the Pacific States of America. That's pretty good. Just Now Russia declared war on Azerbaijan and Alashporta. Okay, apparently the American Union State and the Pacific States of America have signed a truce and are both fighting against the combined syndicates of America. I don't know. I have no idea who's going to win. What's going on with Panama and Costa Rica? Okay, apparently Panama is a military dictatorship. Costa Rica is still a free country under President Rafael Guardia Calderon. Cuba joined the Reichs Pact under Mar Martin Diaz Tamayo. Interesting. Okay.
I'll go with J. I'll go with J. Boel and Zonin, my small ship manufacturer. And apparently the monarchy was restored in Greece, and Georgios II is king. And let me just. Okay. Let me go with reinforced Belgicism. Order restored in Belgium. While Belgium still labors under German control, the Belgian military has asserted enough control over our own borders that a semblance of greater autonomy is now po possible to exert. This is not independence, far from it, but it does mean we no longer have to rely on German troops to secure our borders. Excellent. So now I'm just a puppet of the German Empire, as opposed to an occupied puppet. But I'm still paternal autocrat for some reason. 